When I tell people I'm a fighter pilot, sometimes they don't believe me. Uh, I've been asked trivia questions about the F-16 with people Googling my answers to see if I'm telling the truth. I do get a lot of disbelief. I get a lot of people who don't realize that we've been flying in combat since 1992 and that women were flying fighters even before that. So a lot of people are still shocked. Julie Moore is part of a rare breed. Only 2% of Air Force fighter pilots are women. I think the reason for that is exposure. I don't think that little girls realize that that's something that is open to them, that that's something they can do. But when she was growing up, Moore had a different experience. My dad was a pilot in the Atlantic City Guard. He flew F-106s, so I got to grow up seeing that. He retired in 1985, and when he retired, we uh, got to go down to Atlantic City and see his Finney flight, where he was uh, basically a one-man air show. So we stood out on the ramp. I was only eight years old, but I was really impressed with the jet noise and the performance that day, and that really left an impression on me. And I think that was when I really started to consider, you know, Wanting to, be a, wanting to be a pilot. I don't know that I always was dead set on being a fighter pilot. There are lots of great airplanes to fly uh, in the Air Force. But the thought of flying a fighter seemed the most challenging and the most rewarding to me. Moore began her journey to becoming a fighter pilot by attending the Air Force Academy. Her father, Lieutenant Colonel David Moore, was a special part of her commencement ceremony. When I graduated from the Air Force Academy, I was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Air Force, and my dad was there to perform uh, the oath of office with me and pin on my second lieutenant butter bars. And he actually gave me his uh, second lieutenant rank that he wore when he was commissioned as a second lieutenant. So that was a really great moment for both of us. During her pilot training, Moore says her gender wasn't an issue, though she did face challenges. You know, there's some pressure as a girl, as a woman. You kind of feel like the, you're representing, you know, <laughs> half of the race, <laughs> half of the, the, uh, the human race. So you have some pressure in feeling like, you know, if you mess up, it's because you're a girl. Or if you do well, it's because you're a girl. It's, it's really just all in your head. So, you, so letting that go is, uh, is important for succeeding. Moore completed her pilot training in 2002 and has been flying F-16s ever since. She served in Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2008, but has yet to fly in combat. Even so, she diligently prepares for that possibility. When fighter pilots aren't in combat, we're training to be in combat. So every day that we go out and fly, we have that mentality of how are we gonna prepare for combat? And we put ourselves in that mindset in the hopes that we'll fight like we train. That's what we signed up to do. It's our job to make sure we're prepared to do it. Major Moore currently flies as a member of a reserve squadron based in Homestead, Florida. Flying a F-16 is a thrill. It's a bit like uh, riding a roller coaster, I suppose. The acceleration is great. The relative speed, flying low to the ground is fun. Uh, fighting, dog fighting, pulling a lot of Gs, going fast, and uh, max performing the airplane is, is just a, a thrill, and it's, it's an awesome job, and I love it. Moore knows many people consider her a role model. I think kids look up to adults to see where they fit in in the world and, and they want to make sense of the world and, and what their role is in that society. The thrust setting, so an afterburner, it's full open. So it's great when they can look up and just see another option. They can say, oh, that, that's one thing I can do if that's what I want to do. So I get a lot of information with like a heads up display okay. so I don't have to look down while I'm flying. Moore's father passed away in 2013, but the legacy of this American fighter pilot lives on. We had a great deal in common and we were able to share those experiences and, and talk about uh, being a fighter pilot in a way that you know, he understood more than, uh, you know, we, we understood each other in a way that, uh, you know, in a special way. So we, have, we were very close um, and I, I think, of course, yeah, he was very proud of me and it was great that we could, we could share that.